that's the shit I don't like, 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 These cards get overplayed all fucking day, yeah they get overplayed all fucking day, these cards get overplayed all fucking day, yeah these cards get overplayed all fucking day, stop playing these cards all fucking day, no one wants to see them. All oh, fucking day, I stop playing these cards. All oh, fucking day, cause they get overplayed. All oh, fucking day. Hello guys, and welcome to the first episode of my new segment, That Shit I Don't Like. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a few card reviews on uh, cards that I'm kinda tired of seeing or that I feel probably need to ban. Uh, you know, just to replace things that, uh, you know, Konami's released or, you know, just whatever stuff in general. So, uh, first is Snow the unlight of Dark World. Now, uh, I hate Dark Worlds. So this is no secret to anyone. Uh, I hate them with a passion. I think it's a terrible mechanic for a deck to run on. Uh, I would have liked to see Fabled get the support that they gave Dark World instead. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? <coughs> uh, when it comes to Snow specifically, I think that uh, she's just a little bit much. Like, I think Dark Worlds have enough pluses off Gate and Grapha that they really just don't need three snows. Now, I would be fine with her being at one. I just think she's too OP to be at three. Um, another card is uh, Drag Down. This is, uh, quite frankly, not a Dark World card. This card has been out for a very long time, a lot longer than Dark Worlds. And, uh, yes, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm not 100% sure if it was out before the crappy Dark Worlds, but I'm almost positive it is without actually doing research. Um, but, you know, when it comes right down to it, it's not a Dark World card, no matter how you look at it. Uh, it's just a card which happens to support Dark World. And, uh, with the new Dark World support, this is pretty stupid. You know, Dark World dealings is fine. Uh, that's within their boundaries. But, uh, Drag Down lets them actually look at your hand to choose what they want to get rid of. And, uh, that's just not okay. Especially when comboed with this next card. Uh, Radicator Epidemic Virus. Um, I've had people go, you know, drag down, drag down, drag down, pull all the traps out of my hand, and then go like Eradicator to get rid of my spells. And, you know, they end their turn with like six or seven cards. I start my turn with like two. And, uh, you know, <coughs> obviously that's a rare circumstance, but it's just stupid. And considering that they get crap back for free, um, you know, just like a free plus that, you know, can trigger. I don't like either of the viruses, but I didn't want to spend the entire time talking about uh, Dark World stuff. The deck can be perfectly playable uh, without, you know, the viruses. Or, I mean, at least limit the virus. I'm not saying ban it, but I think that uh, Eradicator, at the very least, needs a limit. Um, but really, you know, I'm not going to cry about Eradicator. Snow, I definitely think, needs a limit. Let's be fair here. Dark Worlds have not been hit at all. Uh, snow needs a limit to one, and drag down just plain needs a ban. That's all there is to it. Um, moving on. Uh, this is my only complaint as far as windups go. I really hate Shark. I had uh, a very good, consistent windup build um, long before Shark came out, and then Shark came out, and just everybody started building him because the deck became much easier. Uh, you know, it just became much more you know idiot proof as far as building. And, uh, you know, Shark really fuels these big-ass long loops with, uh, Magician. And it's just stupid. Like, Hunter doesn't bother me, uh, as long as Zen Mighty's at one. And, I mean, I think Zen Mighty should be at one. But, uh, you know, I think Hunter, Rat, all of them are fine. Even Magician, I really just think that Shark needs to, at the very least, be put to one also. If not banned. Um, Insector Dragonfly. Now... Insectors actually got hit harder than I expected them to, last ban list. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say they need to be hit harder. I just think that they should have been hit differently. Um, Hornet is really like, you know, the power card of the deck. It's what really fuels the entire archetype. I don't think that they should have just limited Hornet. Um, <coughs> you know, there are a lot of archetypes like that that rely a lot on one card. Like, for example, Dark Worlds and Grapha. Um, you know, like, they shouldn't just limit Grapha to one, because, you know, he's like the lifeblood of the deck. In the same way, I don't think that Hornet should have been 
limited to one. I think that Hornet for consistency should have been kept at three, but to keep the deck from being too overpowered, they should have just banned Dragonfly. So that's what I'm calling for. I say ban Dragonfly and Hornet to three. Next is Abyss Sphere. Um, you know, obviously Mermails are new, but just going purely off uh, Dueling Network, I see them being played a lot more than they probably should be getting played. And uh, mostly it's just long ass broken pluses off Abyss Sphere. Um, there are plenty of other ways to go about it. You know, the Archetype's interesting. Again, it's not really an Archetype, mecha archetype mechanic that, I mean, I would think is... It's not something that I would really enjoy playing or enjoy playing against. But Abyss Sphere, I think, needs a limit. Like, basically out of the gate, just because I'm tired of seeing every Mermail deck revolve around it um, so strongly, and there are a lot of them. Uh, Light Pulse Hard Dragon... Now, obviously, Dragons got hit a little bit, too. I still see them every now and then, and they're still not fun to play against. I think that um, Red Eyes Darkness could have even stayed at, like, 3. I just want to see Pulsar get banned, to be honest. Or, I mean, at least give it a limit. Um, or, you know, semi this and Darkness Metal, or, you know, do whatever you want to do. But I really just don't like Pulsar. I think Pulsar needs to be hit, like, potentially even over Darkness Metal. Uh, maybe that's stupid. I don't know. I just I can't stand Pulsar. Uh, the next is Thunder King Rayo. Very old card. As far as I know, I don't think it's ever gotten a limit. I did quit for a little while, but I mean, in general, I've been playing since the game started. Um, I don't ever remember T King getting hit at all. Uh, unless it was for like that year that I was out. But, uh, you know, T King, I'm just. I mean, I, I agree that anti meta needs like, a little bit more support to be anti meta. I just don't like how splashable T King is and everything. And just, like, how stupid it can be. Like, it can shut down, for example, like, if you open T-King against, you know, Spellbooks, or something like that. Um, it's just, it's a huge annoyance, and, uh, usually things like that are made obsolete over time. Like, Slate Warrior, Slate Warrior used to be, like, the best level 4 monster in the game. And now it's, you know, well, I mean, I'm not saying Thunder King's the best, but I would say in general he's, like, the most splashable with the most benefits. Um... I really just think that he needs, you know, a limit, or at very least a semi, because I'm just tired of seeing him floating around everywhere. Um, the next is Asceticism. Now, uh, after this is Gateway. Obviously, 6 AMs have been hit a little bit. I'm not going to say that, again, just like, you know, uh, Insectors. I'm not going to say that they haven't been hit enough. Like, I just think they should have been hit differently. Um, I'm perfectly fine with Smoke Signal staying at 3. I think Smoke Signal and Sheehan should go back to 3. Because I don't think that's where the real issue is. I think that asceticism needs a ban or a limit. At the very least, it needs a limit. And uh, gateway needs a ban. So basically, I think that you know Sheen's fine at three. I think Smoke Signal is fine at three. I think that uh, you know I really just think that asceticism should have been put to one. Yeah, you know, maybe two at most. And gateway should have been banned because the deck's so much about luck. It's like if they draw a gateway, they sack. If they don't. You know, a lot of times they fail, and asceticism I just feel is better than uh, smoke signal. So, next is Bubble Man. Uh, I've been playing heroes since I've been on you know Dueling Network. Basically, I'm a big hero fan. I don't have anything against Bubble Man specifically, but I feel like he's ruining heroes. You know, when it comes, you know, if I have to choose between heroes and Bubble Man, I'm gonna choose heroes, and uh, I think that Bubble Man needs like a limit at the very least, if not a ban. Just because I'm tired of seeing every single hero deck rotate around Bubble Man. It's really annoying. Um, I don't think heroes really need to exceed at all, and yet they do constantly just because people build Bubble Man decks because it topped it Nats or whatever. What are you going to do? Next is uh, One Day of Peace. Um, I play this card in my burn decks. It's very overpowered. If you don't care about, like, maintaining field advantage, for example, if all you care about is, you know, doing your own little goal, like burn damage or Exodia or final countdown, then uh, one day's, you know, minus one doesn't really matter at all. It's uh, It stalls you for another draw, which is basically a plus one, because it replaces itself also. So, uh, you know, I think, even though I would be kind of sad in a way, I think one day probably needs a limit. Um, you know, maybe a semi, if they kind of want to go halfway on it, but, you know, a limit would be reasonable. Next up is Shockmaster, number 16 Shockmaster. 
Um, I think that this card really needs a ban. Uh, just because it's, you know, any deck can make it, just about any deck that has level 4s. And it just shuts down, you know, entire decks. Like, what if someone has a trap monster deck, you know? You're, you know, like it's, sure, it's entirely trap based. But, you know, the opponent has an opportunity to side decrees. I don't think that the opponent should be able to just use Shockmaster for one extra deck space and then have the potential to counter dozens of decks out there just because they're heavy on monsters, heavy on spells, heavy on traps. You know, that includes, you know, like any kind of really trap heavy deck like Chain Burn. Not that you ever see it, but, you know, like Trap Monster. Monster heavy decks like Monster Mash are really popular. Um, spell heavy decks like spell books. I just think Shockmaster, Shockmaster is the answer to just too many things. He really shouldn't have been made in the first place. Um, maybe if he required specific monsters instead of just three level fours, but I, I think that he needs to be banned. Uh, Lagia, I put this on here over Rescue Rabbit because I think Rescue Rabbit has plenty of other purposes that I would like to see fulfilled. I really just think that you know Dino Rabbits. Um, need to go away. And I mean, they would still have uh, Dolka over here. And, uh, you know, I mean, if anyone really wanted to play them, I imagine no one would. But I really just think that Laggy needs to uh, go away, because people are tired of seeing it. And the next is uh, Levier. You know, Tour Guide could even come back, really, um, to three if Levy got banned. That's all I really care about. I just want to see Levy go away for good. I'm tired of seeing it make broken pluses in dark worlds and, you know, like in sectors or whatever. It's just, it's, uh, it's not really like Shockmaster, but really any deck can play him, most decks do, and he's just a stupid plus. It's too easy, just get rid of him. Again, I think a lot of people are just tired of seeing Levier, so. This has been my segment. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry if you didn't. Feel free to uh, ignore the next episode I post, if or when I post it. But, uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, tune in again. Thanks.